so there are a good number of colleges which accept this scorecards of unicorn so these are the set of the dates so if you see uh, 14th march already you know for registration has started for comet k and unigoch and comet k i have already shared the video this is for unigoch and by 15th april at uh, mock test uh, uh, will be available for this you know it includes and uh, 13th may is when the you know you can edit the doc your form application form once again and last date to edit is 16th may and after that you know june starting june you will get your tat which is a test admission ticket and uh, with which you will be able to uh, you know give exam so on 19th june so this is the same exam uh, which is at comet k on 19th june right and uh, so so but you will have a different scorecard for for uni if you fill the form for unigage and do registration for unigage and uh, you will get a, a different you know scorecard and which you can apply for those 2020 20 or 25 uh, universities across india so it's not only restricted to karnataka but outside karnataka top universities you can apply this thing and then the um, finally an exam will happen on 19 june and final uh, results will be declared by 5th of july which your which is your test score card and then you have to apply so i will explain the complete process in the next slide so before that you should also know which are the colleges which accept the unigoch exam right so if you see kl university which is deemed university in vijayawada that university exam and if you are in uh, assam it is a kajiranga university in gujarat is a ganpat university and very good college called manar rachana international institute of research and studies in faridabad and manar rachana university both in himachal baddi university uh, in Ranchi, Usha Martin, in Bangalore, many of them like CMR University, Dhanan Sagar University, Jain University, MS Rama University, Reva University Presidency. So all those five, six also accept the Comet K, but in case uh, you are not giving Comet K or KCT, you can use Unicor score to uh, get the admission into these universities and JP University in Guna, very good, you know, and Oriental People's University in both of them in Madhya Pradesh, Anjinkya D.Y. Patil in Maharashtra, MIT Peace University also is very good, which is in Maharashtra accepts this and then the RNB Global University in Bikaner and Sweta Savita University, uh, University in Chennai is quite good. Karpakam Higher Studies, Coimbatore and then Periyar Manimalai in Tamil Nadu, some more universities and Anurag University in Hyderabad which is also good and Integral University in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh and Sanskriti University in Mathura, Uttar Pradesh. So these are basically around 20 plus universities which accept the Unigod scores and you have to apply individually to these universities once you have the scorecard available. So let me get into the other part which is about the register so you are basically now reading the information brochure which i am presenting and then you have to register online with the user id and password and you you will create and complete application you have with payment you know, fees payment you have to do which is a step three then you have to re-log in and check status frequently for updates so you, all updates will be under that and the next step is downloading application uh, test admission ticket which will happen in june month and attend exam on 19th of uh, june and check your scorecard and download of scorecard on the, 5th of july as you saw the dates in the earlier sheet and then now you have to directly apply to those uh, universities right which i mentioned in the previous sheet so this is the detailed process of what i have shown in the previous sheet is one by step by step you have to fill in candidate registration form generate otp click on the register and registration and then receive sms with your uh, login id and password log out uh, and then re-login to go to the application so click on go to application there will be some some tab go to application then you have to select exam enter your personal details uh, name and other things fill in category details and fill in academic details about your 12th class marks and etc things and fill in your examination city where you want to give this uh, exam and verify all the preview page and then submit it right to complete the payment and by after success again you check out and uh, log in again and you take a printout of the application for your reference so this is very detailed process on the complete filling and the registration now since it is for the all india basis so they have a test centers across india so you can see uh, all the states which are mentioned uh, here and uh, almost everywhere in karnataka kerala maharashtra everywhere there are the centers and you can apply to those centers nearest cities which are mm, close to your cities and uh, that should be good now coming to the fees part so since many of you know that right for only unigoch 
you exam you want to give then it will be 600 plus convenience charges if you want to give only comet k which i have covered with you 1800 plus um, plus and if you are want to give both unigoch and comet k then your fees will be reduced so it will not be 1600 plus 1800 3400 but you don't have to give 3400 and you have to pay only 2950 which is there and then uh, that is what you know and this fees pay once paid is non-refundable you know and exam date is the same as the comet k so next part is the exam so it's unigage is the same as you know b for b b b tech courses so 60 questions mcqs for physics 60 for chemistry and 60 for maths so total 120 questions date you know that is 19th june morning slot 9 a.m to 12 and then afternoon slot 2 30 p.m to 5 30 exam will be in english only each correct answer one marks there is no negative markings in total 180 questions and syllabus uh, is same as your 12th 11th and 12th class uh, cc cbse syllabus right and um, this is about the result publishing as i said the result will Result will be published on 5th of July and before that there will be provisional answer keys and uh, test scores you can download from unigoch.com and uh, then you have to individually apply to different universities right. And this is the last step so your CT selection selection process will stop and then you will start applying using the unigage 2022 scores and these are the uh, you know details more of details about you can read and for any assistance you can also reach to the phone number which is and the help desk number of unigage which is mentioned there so thanks for watching and that's all i have uh, for this update and uh, let me uh, let me know if you have any other query and this is uh, the same date same time as the comet k exam so there is no separate exam and so two uh, scorecards which you are going to get thank you for watching and uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel to get more updates and share this video as well